Hello, Talita. Today is a silly read aloud. The day of the bad haircut. And I chose this during career week. Number one, so many of us desperately miss our hairstylists. They are beauticians. They are magicians. They know how to cut hair so well. And I wonder how many of you kids out there have been subjected to a day that ends up with a bad haircut because your mom or your dad or someone in your family decided that they could become a beautician at the snap of a finger. Some of my friends have done it. I have not. I will not cut Brian Mallory or my husband's hair, even though he's desperate for me to do it. So when I was here in the library, I found this book and I thought, you know what? I'm going to read this. If you guys are upper graders listening to this, you might feel so silly listening to a children's book. But hey, you are a kid. The Day of the Bad Haircut, dedicated to the real Ben from the real sis. By Eva Moore, illustrated by Meredith Johnson. Molly had a mother, a father, a brother named Ben, a cat named Charlie, and a lot of nicknames. Dad called Molly, my little lady. Ben called Molly, sis. To, to, to mom, Molly was sweet girl. One day mom said, sweet girl, your hair is a mess. You need a haircut. But Molly said, no, I like my hair the way it is. One week later, mom said, Sweet girl, you really do need a haircut. But Molly said, no, I like my hair the way it is. One week later, mom took Molly and Ben to the barber shop. Ben sat in the barber's chair. Click, click, went the barber's scissors. Snips of hair fell to the floor. Good boy, the barber said. He gave Ben a toy. See, Molly, Mom said, don't you want a toy too? But Molly said, no, I like my hair the way it is. One week later, Molly said, ow, that hurts. Sweet girl, Mom said, will you please let me cut your hair? You guys, this has happened to me when I was a little girl. I know it's happened to my little girl. Oh, the tangles that you can get in your hair. And even guys have long hair. Those guys can get tangles and it hurts. Molly did not like that pain. So here we go. Ask the question, Molly said. Yes. Click, click, went mom's scissors. Snips of hair fell to the floor. Mom cut a little more here, click, 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 and a little more there, click, 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 and a little more, click. Wait until you see yourself, Molly, Mom said. You look so cute. It's too short, Molly cried. Now I look like a boy. Mom looked at Molly in the mirror. Yes, she said. I guess, excuse me, I guess some boys do have their hair cut like this. But I'm a girl, Molly said. Of course. Mom gave her a hug. Molly went out onto the porch. She felt very strange. She was a girl, but she had a boy's haircut. What if people thought she was a boy now? I actually had short hair when I was a little girl and that's how I felt too. Molly did not want anyone to see her. She sat down in the corner. The letter carrier came by. He didn't see Molly. Mrs. Green came by. She didn't see Molly. Molly's cat, Charlie, came by. 
Shh, Charlie, Molly whispered. You will give me away. For a long time, no one else came by. Molly was all alone. She heard cars passing in the street. She heard kids jumping rope. Then thump, thump. Molly heard footsteps coming from the porch steps. It was Ben. Hey, sis, Ben said. What are you doing there? Molly began to cry. I'm hiding. Mom cut my hair too short. And now I look like a boy. It's all right, sis, Ben said. I will help you hide. No one will get past me. It was hard to stay still. Molly wished she could go out and play. Then Ben called. Look at that steamroller. Some men are here to do work on the driveway next door. Let's go watch. Molly stood and watched the big machine. She loved the smell of the hot tar. She loved the way the heavy roller rolled out. Oh, sorry. I, excuse me. She loved the way the heavy roller ironed out the piles of sticky gravel and made a smooth black driveway. She forgot all about her hair. One of the workers saw them. Hi, said Ben. Hi, said Molly. Hi, said the man. Do you boys live here? No, Ben said. We live next door. And I am not a boy, Molly said. I am a girl with a bad haircut. The man laughed. It's not so bad, he said. Besides, your hair will grow back before you know it. It's about time I had a haircut myself. Molly ran home. Mom said, here's my sweet girl. I'm sorry about your hair. But Molly knew it didn't matter. She was still Dad's little lady, Ben's sis, and Mom's sweet girl. She always would be. And that is the story of the day of the bad haircut. Now, if you like having short hair as a girl, yay! So much easier and so much faster, and you never have to get your hairbrush tangled in knots. Oh, that's nice. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm saying girls shouldn't have short hair. But you're allowed to be sad and frustrated if your mom or dad gave you a bad haircut. Let's hope that we can safely visit our hairstylists again soon. We miss you hairstylists. Thank you for your artistic talents that you give us all. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.